Hey everyone! Alright, so here's our next tutorial, and I actually asked um, on Facebook, I asked everyone to give me a color, and then I would take the top 25 um, commenters, or like the first 25 commenters, and then the most popular color, I would use that in a look. Then I went to Twitter, and I asked the same thing, um, and then the 25 first replies, the most popular color got a look. Uh, Facebook picked green, and Twitter picked purple. So I had to do a look using green and purple, which sometimes can turn out looking a little bit like Barney, um, but I think I did a good enough job of making it not look like Barney. I don't know how well it's going to show up in this lighting because on my laptop and in person, um, the colors look a lot different than what I see in this screen. Um, so I will take photos and post those on my website um, and all the links and stuff to like Facebook, Twitter, and my website will be all down below in my pants, whatever you want to call the underbar on the video description. But yeah, so this look was created in conjunction with help from people on Twitter and Facebook. So yeah, with all of that said, let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started. Okay, now, so for the purple in this look, I want to warm it up a little bit. I don't want it to be more on the blue side. I want it to have a little bit of, like, a pink vibe to it as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this, which is Foxy Lady Eye Coal from MAC. Um, they don't make this anymore, so just any red eyeliner would do. Just right here on this inside corner. I'm just going to draw on there like that. I'm going to do the same on the outside corner, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it can be kind of messy because we're just using this as a base. We're going to go in and blend it out, and then I'm just going to go in with a finger and blend it. Now I'm going to go in with this color, it's called Hysteric, it's from Sugar Pill. It's a nice, vibrant violet color, but it has green and blue shimmer inside of it. Um, so the little glitter particles are green and blue. The brush that I'm going to use to do this, I'm just going to take an angle brush like this. This is a MAC 272. Um, I think this was discontinued, but I could be wrong. And then I'm just going to pick up some of that product. And then I'm just going to dust this right on top of the red. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite purple, which is Poison Plum, um, again by Sugar Pill. This is comparable to like Makeup Forever's number 92, but I'm going to be honest with you, I prefer this one. Um, I've said it before in another video, this one doesn't turn um, dark instantly on like darker skin tones. Makeup Forever's number 92 does, um, especially on me. It goes really, really dark and it's not as vibrant as it is um, in the actual pot of product. And then, um, this one blends a lot better. Um, the number 92 is kind of stiff and just kind of sticks, but that's just what I've experienced with it, so it may be different for other people, and some people might agree with me. But now that I have this on, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to put this, thus, ugh, I'm going to put this in the same areas, but I'm mainly going to focus down on the lid, and then blend it up from there. But now I'm going in, and I'm just going to use Black Track Fluid Line. Um, you can just use any kind of black. You can use like a black pencil liner to do this. Um, there's many different things you can use for this part, but I'm just going to put it on a brush like this. It's kind of fluffy. I'm kind of stiff. And then right at the bottom of my lid, like right at my lash line, I'm just going to rub this, um, black track right there on the inside and outside corner. And then I'm actually going to blend that up. And I'm going to follow like the socket right here, but instead of continuing to follow it, I'm actually going to go up above it and kind of go underneath the shape of my brow. So you can kind of see the shape that makes right there. 
and then up here, or over here rather, I'm going to blend this up as well. But I'm going to blend it straight up until I get to the crease or into the socket. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to wing it out. Now that I have the black track on, I'm going to go in with my Pandora Duo from NARS, um, only because it has my favorite black in it. Um, I like to never use the white, but just going to go in with a brush, pick up some of the black, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing I've been doing. I'm going to start with my product right at my lash line, just to make my lash line the darkest. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to follow the socket and then transform that into following under the brow. I'm done with the black, so I'm just going to go in with my makeup white, and then I'm just going to clean up that line. I'm going to work on the center, and what I'm using is Luna Cream Color Base from MAC. It's just a white, but mine's in here because um, I only had a little bit left. And I'm just picking that up on a synthetic brush, and then I'm just going to press that right in the center of my lid. Now that I have that on, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to pick up this color right here, which is Absinthe, um, again from Sugar Pill. It's just a nice acid green color. And I'm going to pick that up on my brush. And this is the same brush. And I'm just going to press that right in the center to get that really nice bright highlight. I'm going to tap the excess off of my brush. And then I'm just lightly going to blend this out into the purple. Then once I have the absinthe color on, I'm going to do the same thing like I did for the purple. And I'm going to deepen up the base by my lash so line. I'm going to use this color right here, which is uh, Midori. Again, from Sugar Pill. It's pretty much all I'm using in this video. And then same thing. I'm just going to put it right at my lash line. Tap off the extra, and then I'm just going to lift up. And with my Urban Decay 24-7 liner, this one is in Dime. It's a metallic silver, um, and it's like metallic silver. And I'm just going to draw a little bit of this underneath my bottom lash line. I'm going to go in with the uh, Absinthe color from Sugar Pill. Again, and then I'm just going to press this right on top. And then I'm just going to use my finger to blend the edge of that. And then like I did on the top, I'm going to go in with the Midori color, that's the press shadow. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on top as well. Now for the liner on the bottom that's right by the lash line, instead of taking this pencil and trying to get in there and messing up everything, I'm just taking an angled brush like this, and then I'm going to rub that back and forth on the liner, um, the pencil, just to get some of that color on there. And then I'm going to go right underneath my lash line and start to etch this in from the outside corner and work it towards the inside corner but have the line fade and taper at the same time so it's thicker out here but then it's going to fade out color wise and also get thinner as it goes in now the bottom liner is on and done so i'm just going to go in and add mascara and then draw on my brow and then for lips i'm going to use hush Lip Tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Um, remember with these, just a dabble do ya. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that. Once I have that on, I'm going in with Fab Frenzy. This is one of the Super Glass from MAC. It's a nice, um, I would say like a deep berry color. And I'm going to apply that right on top. And then once that's on, you're done. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful to some of you, and until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. <laughs> Bye!